what am I doing with all of those notebooks and planners and journals? Well, I'm going to tell you about each one. I'm going to start with this A6 rings because that is my favorite size for planners. It's a good medium. It's not too big, not too small. And this year I incorporated this little Muji planner. Um, it's really simple. It just has a nice monthly view and then a weekly view where it has the days of the week on the left side and then grid paper on the right side for listing. I think it's really nice to have my calendar and schedule um, and something that I can tuck into the binder, or take out, put it in my purse, bring it around with me. It's good for appointments. And of course I decorate it a little bit just cause that's always fun for me to do. And then in the rings, I love um, being able to switch things in and out and just keep things that I don't need long-term like a year calendar. And this year I really wanted to make the focus of this planner about routine. So I got these daily task cards from Planner Press and I went ahead and defined for myself what I mean by each one of those. You just put a sticker showing your top four priorities for the day. And they're easy to take on and off too, so you can switch them out. I also wrote down my morning and evening routines, hoping that if I have a page I can flip to and look over them, um, it'll just help me commit them to memory and make more of a habit out of things that I really want to make a habit out of. I always keep stickers in the pockets and those laminated pouches, they're perfect. And then I went back to using covers for my sections with some script stickers, the covers from Annie Plans Printables, and I just like the way it looks. It's a nice, clean look. I always keep the first section in a ring planner as sort of a catch-all. Um, sometimes I put inserts there that I'm not sure how to use yet, but I want to, and just room for listing. Then of course I like to have little things like that vellum that make me smile or um, are motivating for me. So I love having things like that scattered throughout the planner. Um, like that, for instance, that's from the planner spot. And then this, I just cut down a page insert from Webster's Pages. It was an A5 size and I just cut it down to fit into this little guy. Here's my daily pages. I don't use them every day, just when I have a busy day, usually with work or a lot of housekeeping things that I need to write down. Um, and I really like that it has the AM and PM check boxes. So they focus on routines, like I mentioned, I was really wanting to do. And then just a little pause there, the inhale, exhale, I love that vellum. Um, in this section, I change it around depending on what I'm focused on at the time, but right now, I'm trying out a lot of different makeup products and skincare products, and I wanted to write down what I was trying and things that I had ordered so I could make notes about them. And then I have a wellness log in here from Creatively Planned, which is really cool. Um, I need to keep up with that a little better, but I really like that it has um, a spot for your mood. Um, I've had this kind of care kind of dull in there because I plan to put workout stuff in there, but I really... I've not gotten that far yet with my personal fitness, so that's something, that's a goal. <laughs> Next is my planner section, um, or social section, I call it sometimes. Um, so it's mostly about planner stuff and PR stuff. I have order tracker and I have a habit tracker, and I like to write down wish lists in here too. Another small thing I keep in that section is ideas for gifts for friends' birthdays and things like that. I also have an awesome Kanye West quote in there just for fun. Um, and then this section is my favorite section. Um, this is just a section for motivational things and like you got this kind of things. Um, this is something I started doing when I had my first baby almost five years ago. I've kept that little daily habits in my planner ever since. Um, and it just helped me to just have an area that's just for me, just for things that I want to look at and that I like to see um, that keep me going. So um, yeah, I just, I recommend having a little section like that just for fun, just for dashboards and vellum and all the stuff that you might've wanted to put in other places, but, but it didn't quite fit in. Um, it's nice to have one spot just for those sort of things. Tool and Twine Co. is a great shop for, um, some quality dashboards like that. I also love Planner Press, and then this one is Creatively Planned, and then Heather B. Co. is another one um, where I get a lot of dashboards. Back here, I have a pocket from Brooklyn Grace Co., and I just have a list with books that I'm reading right now, and then just a little planner spot card, and some sticky notes that 
fit perfectly in there from bunny plans and then back here i have a moon phases um my son and i really like to look through a telescope <laughs> so it's cool to know when there's a full moon to look at and then this um, this is my favorite pen you brands have a felt tip pen um, it just writes really well on all kinds of paper and they look cute too change my binder out pretty frequently but this one that looks really soft is called velvet sand it's from bds shop or vander speck it's definitely one of my favorites and another favorite that this one i rarely change out this is a a5 filofax sienna espresso and i use this one for work and it never leaves my desk it's got too much sensitive information in it to be able to carry it around and i work from home so it's easy to just keep it here um, I, I love having my work stuff separate in another planner. Um, and what I just do a little bit of decorative stuff in here. I put one piece of vellum at the back of each month and I, I have a monthly calendar, um, with just some stuff from the planner spot. And then in the back, after all the months, I have just some task things and some info that I store back here. So these are bills that when the price changes every month, I like to keep track of that. Um, in my planner and then I have a password section as well as an account section that's a little more detailed than the password and then I have contacts that's really important for the type of work that I do and then in the very back I just keep a few decorative things here that go with my goals for the year which are to keep up routines with work as well and to just be um, a little more tough when I need to <laughs> so um, I also have a notebook back there from the planner spot, so I love that planner. Next, I'm going to show you my pouch system. So this is how I keep all of my journals and all the rest of my notebooks separated. So this one is my mom life pouch, and inside I keep my Hobonichi Weeks. And the point of the pouch is to keep everything together that I use in that particular journal. So I have my all my Hobonichi Week stickers and stuff for that theme that I use. So a little bit about how I use this one. Um, this is my mom life journal and I've done it. This is my third year using it. So this was 2019. I basically just write down anything that I want to remember about my kids, their milestones, their shoe sizes, <laughs> things they say, um, doctor's appointments, anything like that, that I just want to remember. The next pouch is my personal journal. I love to use pocket size journals. And um, in this pouch, I keep a ton of stickers and different pins and um, little pieces of um, pictures or things that I might want to put into my journal. Now this I carry everywhere. My favorite place to journal is down by the water. So I'll usually carry this pouch with me if we go to the beach. So it has a lot of beachy stuff in it. Um, I like to keep Bible verses in the pockets, um, little pictures of things that go with my theme. And the theme I'm using in this one is sunset or sunrise, actually. <laughs> um, the leather is called sunset. So for each month, I just use a different moleskin pocket size notebook. And I love the paper and I like how I can just put a whole month in one of them. And then they're easy to just add to one of these pocket sized traveler's notebooks and I just keep postcards or anything anything that relates to that part of my life in there. Here's a completed one just to show you what they look like. Um, this was from a couple of years ago and it's got about seven months in it. Um, so it's got maybe more than that. And then it's got all these dashboards and decorative things in it. On this year I wrote every single day. My next pouch is for gardening and nature. So I have um, a big B6 traveler's notebook for it. This one's from Zencraft Leatherworks. It's cool because it has a little section for pins in there. And then I have a gardening insert from Creatively Planned and a bunch of stuff from Be Happy Plans in there too. And this is where I just keep track of things that I've planted that have specific instructions that I need to remember. I needed a rugged leather because I do take this down to a potting area that's in my backyard. And I use it to reference um, and to write things down as I'm planting things so I don't get things mixed up. 
In the pouch, I, I like to keep note cards and sticky notes that I can add, where I can add notes easily. And then those little info cards that come in plants when you buy them, I keep those in here. I also have some bookmarks. I thought this little mushroom bookmark was super cute. Rainbow charm. And some just nature-themed stickers that, and vellum that I can use in those notebooks. My next pouch is basically for keeping track of books and reading and tea and wine and coffee. So these are all things that I love. Oh, and birds. I do a lot of bird watching. <laughs> I have a lot of birds in my house, so that's why I wanted to add some birds in there. And I have charms with tea, a little teacup and a little bird. And just cute things from Fur and You. Um, but inside I have a tea postcard, some plant postcards, just all these little cozy home things that make me feel happy. This tea time insert, I keep bits of lace and some stickers in the front. And then inside, you can record thoughts about different teas that you try. And I like to have it with me whenever I'm trying a new tea. Um, I also just got this wine insert. I love wine. And I would like to start, you know, curating my palette a little bit. <laughs> so I thought it'd be good to keep track. And then I just have a notebook in here for notes about my house or hosting things that I want to plan. And then I also write down um, books that I'm reading. And then I have a word of the day exercise that I've been doing based on this little calendar I got. And then in the back, I have a home notepad. And then I just wanted to show you this cute dashboard that I'm going to add into it. I just got that from Paper Blush Bar. And then finally, I have my Harriet Wright Designs Planner. So this has replaced my Erin Condren as a memory planner. People use memory planners differently, but I personally love to use it as a creative space for all my stickers, because <laughs> that's fun for me. And I also like to put highlights, like these are monthly highlights. And then I do a mood board for each month as well and jot down some basic goals. And then really what I like to use the spreads for, besides stickers, I like to be able to write down things that I've already completed. That is a really good exercise for me. It feels good. So there's no rules with how you want to use your planners and your notebooks and your journals. Just go with the flow and no, don't be afraid to just try different things. And if it doesn't work, you can always move on from it. But thanks for watching. I hope you got some ideas.